Welcome to another Euroactive Tweets of the Week. Lyra's funeral makes hypocrisy plain. Greta is privileged. Some egos complain. And European Parliament launches its election campaign. On Wednesday, the funeral took place of Lyra McKee, the journalist shot dead in Northern Ireland. Mario Ledwith explained that her funeral took place in a Protestant cathedral, despite her Catholic background, chosen by her family to try to break down barriers. Tributes from across the EU, including the European Commission, the European Greens, Guy Verhofstadt and even Michel Barnier, came flooding in for the journalist and LGBT rights campaigner. As Gavin Riley highlighted, the Irish President, Taoiseach and British Prime Minister were all seated together in the front row and behind them, DUP leader Arlene Foster and the leader of Sinn Féin, Mary Lou Macdonald. If only it didn't need a tragedy to make it so, he said. The officiating priest, Father Martin McGill, also questioned... Why in God's name does it take the death of a 29-year-old woman... ...to bring politicians together? Alex Andreo said it was a very uncomfortable for the politicians, but absolutely fair question. Another tweeter said it is possibly the most powerful 80 seconds you'll ever watch, as the congregation gave an unprecedented standing ovation. Just watch Arlene Foster's face. Another young woman in a different sort of firing line this week is Greta Thunberg, the 16-year-old climate activist, as a bunch of entitled, boring, middle-aged white guys attacked her credibility because her mum sang in Eurovision. Greta Thunberg is privileged daughter of Sweden's Eurovision star, tweeted the son of a lord, Toby Young. Jack Parrock was amused that participating in Eurovision imbues some kind of privilege. Piers Corbyn, brother of Labour leader Jeremy, added fire to the flames, saying, listening to an ignorant brainwashed child is deranged. I am an actual scientist, which Peter Steele said was a disgraceful attack on a young woman. After Brendan O'Neill's hate-filled op-ed in Spite, Anna Orridge said she thought he had set the bar as low as it could go when it came to spiteful attacks on Greta. But then Helen Dale limboed under it by gleefully imagining the teenager having a meltdown on national telly. And blimey, that was a close one. For a moment, I thought we were going to have to do something about catastrophic climate change. But it turns out Greta Thunberg's mum was on Eurovision, so we can all relax, quipped Jonathan Coe. Finally, after the last European Parliament plenary week wrapped up in musical style, thanks to MEP Lotze Petrule and his harmonica, EP 2019 campaigning season officially got underway. And life has a way to make us feel fragile and alone when we know change is coming and nothing will ever be the same again. Wait, what? The quote comes from a three-minute video of, well, women in labour, released by the European Parliament to encourage people to vote, as you do. The video, voiced by a disembodied day-old baby, yes, really, has it really split the crowd. Some thought it was striking, powerful and beautiful. Others, including Jack Parrick again, reckoned it was at best questionable. Enda Ryan thought the whole expectant parents giving birth thing was a bit laboured. Katrina Gray said it was bizarre and an account called Labour Lad described it as creepy. Personally, I just thought it was very, very long. And that's it for another episode. Join me again next week for more shills, thrills and spills in the Bustles Bubble Twittersphere. <laughs>